Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Spike and welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved, my friends. We are on, I do believe, the 19th episode and uh, yeah, guys, I haven't been that much of a busy bee. I've just been going ahead and grinding some resources in that uh, I basically dug up an entire another rich metal rock and as a result, I've got myself a bunch more metal ingots on the way, which is fantastic. So, in today's episode, I wouldn't mind trying to get myself this assault rifle right here. As you can see, durability 40 seems a bit low. Uh, our weapon clip ammo, 40 bullets per mag. Pretty interesting. Cemented pace, 50. We need 35 metal ingots. Easy to get. Polymer is going to be the thing that is going to be a little bit more difficult, but I think we're going to try and head back into the snow biome, see if we can't get ourselves some penguins, kill them, because apparently you guys were saying they give you organic polymer, which apparently is a better way of getting them. So, uh, yeah. But, uh, yeah, like I said, just been doing the grind, all these bits and bobs here. We've got some meat on the go here, which is fantastic. I could actually really do with that, so... How about we get a little bit of that? And as always, guys, if you're excited for the episode, if you're excited for more episodes from the series, a like rating would be super, super appreciated, my friends. Your support recently on the series has been absolutely out of this world. In fact, so much so that the series has been getting more like ratings than my Terraria series has, and that is unexpected. I never, ever expected that to happen. I really didn't. So your guys' support means the world to me. It really, really does. But yeah, anyways, guys, one thing I have done since the last episode is I managed to make for myself a BLZ Buffo saddle. So as you can see, we can now ride this guy and check out the speed this guy has. Dude, look at it. This guy has insane speeds. And apparently, according to the wiki, these guys can jump the highest out of any of the dinos in Ark Survival Evolved. Uh, vanilla, that is. So, yeah. This is actually kind of badass. So not only that, obviously my Argentavis, which apparently is called an Argentavis, not Tavis. It's a Tavis. That's how you pronounce it, apparently. Uh, yeah, the Argentavis can carry this guy as well. So if I wanted to go ahead on a bit of a grind for some uh, for some various bits of bobs, cementing paste being one of them, uh, apparently we need to kill a bunch of bugs with this guy to get cementing paste. So that shouldn't be too difficult. I feel like the bugs spawn more when it's daytime, sort of in these plains areas, right? So... I mean, how about to start, while we're going ahead and waiting for the metal to go, how about we go ahead and see if we can find some bugs and take them out of the game? Oh, wow. So that's his attack. He, like, shoots out his tongue. Ha! <laughs> that's awesome. Okay. Right, so, question. Can we find some boogies? It would be awesome, because I'd like to confirm if I can get cementing paste from them in, uh, in this manner, like you guys were saying. So, yeah. Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and try and find myself some bugs, whatever they may be, and uh, yeah, I'll be back in a moment. Whoa! What? This guy just killed four people in one go! What the crap? What the crap? Get off me, bro! Go on, right, uh, where was everybody else, or did I already take them and eat them, slash convert them into cementing paste? What the hell, bro? Wow! And obviously we get a bunch of chitin from it as well. Jeez, man. Right, I think I want to increase stamina with this guy. It increases by 19 per time. Very, very nice. Because it means that this guy is actually a pretty viable way of getting around the world if I didn't want to fly, right? He's quick. He jumps high. He's got a pretty hefty attack. What's the attack damage? Oh, 147. Actually, that's not that much. So maybe what I do... In terms of ranking this guy up is I rank up his melee, his weight, and I think his stamina. Those will be like the three, uh, you know, top things that I want to increase. But yeah, look at that. So from five bugs, I got 66 cementing paste. Dudes, thank you so much for the tip about getting a BLZ buffer. You guys are absolutely amazing. This is why I'm doing the series, my friends. It's kind of a way of me learning this game. So when I go into future things, rather like Ark Aberration, which at the time of this video going out, it should have released today, then, you know, I'll have a little bit more knowledge going into that. But uh, yeah, for now, we're going to continue this series, by the way. Uh, I just want to clarify that straight off the rip as well. Uh, just because Ark Aberration is coming out, it doesn't mean that I'm going to be, like, cancelling the series or anything like that. It's going to be fully on continuing, my friends, because, like I say, I'm still learning the game. And uh, it's because of you guys that I'm continuing to learn about the game. So, once again, I appreciate it, guys. Thank you very much. In the meantime, check it out, guys. We've got ourselves to level up. What do we do? Stamina? I'm thinking melee damage. We seem to be starting to rank up our melee damage very, very much so now. So here we go. Level 68. 
We have the auto turret. Requires electricity to run, consumes bullets while firing, can be configured to automatically attack hostiles within range. So it's like a sentry gun. Hell yeah, man. I'll take that. And check this out as well, guys. Level 67, we get the Allosaurus saddle. I am very tempted to see if at that place where all of those Anglios were previously, I'm very tempted to see if there's any more Allosauruses uh, spawned there because I may be able to tame one. That would be amazing. It genuinely would be amazing. This thing is apparently crafted at Smithy. Requires 30 metalingus, uh, 320 height and 175. But easy stuff. Uh, Allosaurus, by the way, is like, it's quite a big dino. It really, really is. I can't really describe it aside from that. It's quite big. I don't think it's as big as a Rex, but it's kind of like an entry level Rex, maybe. I don't know. I, like I say, I'm not entirely sure until I actually go and do this thing. So, uh, yeah. But, yeah, that's not bad, guys. Not bad. So, we're going to head back to base. We're going to just collect ourselves real quick. We're going to try and get some ammo for our guns because they are not looking so good so far. And, uh, yeah, we'll get on with maybe trying to tame ourselves an Allosaurus. That would be fantastic. Alrighty, guys. So, I've got some various bits and bobs going here. I'm just in the process of making the Allosaurus saddle. There it is. Fantastic. And, uh, guys, check it out. I have also decided to make the sword and the pike as per your guys' suggestions because we didn't really have a viable melee weapon before. So, I'm kind of hoping that these two will do the job. Not entirely sure which of the two are better, but obviously that's something that we can find out. Uh, we've got our thing right here. We've got ourselves a crossbow. We've got ourselves some more uh, tranq arrows. Uh, not tranq arrows. Uh, tranquilizer dart, should I say, for the long neck rifle. We've got some bowlers just in case. And, of course, everything else. So... Guys, I think we are just about ready for this. I've temporarily put the shotgun away because A, it doesn't have any ammo and B, as a result, it doesn't really make sense me taking up some weight when I could be getting some more speed from whatever I take to get there with, right? So, yeah. Alright, so, I'm thinking of taking my Tyranodon there simply because, you know, speed and all that kind of stuff. So, let's go on this guy. Yeah, lots and lots of speed. Fantastic. So, uh, I just need to go... Oh my goodness me, there's an Alpha Raptor down there, guys. There's actually an Alpha Raptor down there. Oh, that's not good. I didn't want to see that, if I'm entirely honest with you guys. I could have really done... Wait, I need to go, what, this way? I need to go this way. Okay, fantastic. So, basically, past our old base. Um, basically, we're going to go to the far east, basically beside where our, you know, beach bases, and then slightly north of that, slightly south of the, uh, of the northern snowy area, and, uh, yeah, we should hopefully find ourselves an Allosaurus over there, because that seems to be where I have been finding them, uh, quite a lot. I just realised I need to land, get some stamina back. I don't have unlimited flight, sadly. I really wish I had. That would be amazing if there was, like, some sort of flying diner that just had unlimited flight. Would that not be the best thing ever? Eh, probably be a bit OP, to be honest, but, you know, it'll be cool. Anyways, Let's go over there. Let's see if we can find ourselves an Allosaurus. Alrighty, guys. Now, as far as I know, those dinos down there are indeed Allosauruses. Uh, there's one just down there, actually. Uh, maybe if I get down to a slightly more flatter area, so when I pop off my Tyranodon, I don't just, like, fall down and die. Uh, all right. That seems like a pretty good place. All right. Let's get you to stay there. Uh, what do we think? What the hell? There's a freaking kangaroo, bro! <laughs> what? I ain't seen a kangaroo in this game yet. What the crap? Is that a Rex or... Are those Allosauruses? Am I about to make like a horrible mistake? Well, that guy's on fire. Is that guy an alpha? Oh my goodness me. You can't tame alphas as far as I know. Hmm. Right. I think... I think I'm going to have to give this a sec. I need to research on the wiki which of these are Allosauruses. In fact, uh, I really should make a spyglass, shouldn't I? Let's just be honest here, guys. But yeah, in the meantime, let me just check the wiki real quick. I don't want to go ahead and KO the wrong thing because I have a limited supply of tranquilizer darts, right? So give me one second. Alrighty, guys. It turns out these guys over here are the Allosauruses. So, like I say, I don't know if that one is like an alpha, though, because he's got like some sort of weird smoke effect coming out of him. This could turn out to be a very, very bad idea. So that thing over there, I believe, is just a Rex. What if I try... Here's what I'm going to try. I'm going to try and see if I can, uh, like, lure one out. Hello. You coming out? Are these guys... Oh, here he comes. Come on in. Ooh, hello. Right. So, here we go. Let's pop up here real quick. Okay, let's pop off. And how about... Here we go. Ha-boom! Yes! Do you think we could do this, guys? Oh, I can't get down there. No way I'm getting down there, buddy. 
Oh, I missed him. Damn it, man. I don't even know how many of these darts I'm going to need for this guy. Hello? Oh, I can't go any further. Otherwise, I will just die straight out. Uh, right, okay. I might have to take my Tyranodon to a different location. Hey, buddy! Hello? I'm ready! Sir? Oh, he's over there. Hello. <laughs> what is this guy doing? Good day to you, sir. Right. Uh, let me just park myself here. Can I survive this? Yep, I can. Just about. Ha-boom! That's a shot. That's a shot. Okay. Once again, don't know how many shots I'm going to need for this guy. Boom! That's another one. That's three darts inside him now. Well, I say inside. I'm not really. Right, come on. Okay. Uh, you seem to be moving around quite a lot. It's when they start running away. That's how you know that you're kind of close. Damn it, missed him again. Gotta stop with the missing, buddy. Gotta stop with the missing. Right, maybe I try and take him to a lower rock. Are there any, like, lower rocks I can get to? Uh, buddy? Oh, he's over there. Okay, cool. Right, I need to find, like, a really steep rock. That doesn't seem like a very steep rock to me. But, whatever. We'll try it. Boom! Okay. What is he... What is he doing? I've got six of these darts left. Okay, come on. Is there even a slight chance? Boom! Come on! I think I may have got this guy stuck accidentally. Boom! I don't know what level this guy is, that's the thing. I could completely run out of darts if I'm not careful here. Come on, I've got two left! Two left! That's all I've got! Make that one! Yes! Yes! Oh! He out! He out, boys! He out! Okay, right, let's get over it. <gasps> okay, are we even going to be able to do this? Right, uh, I'm just going to take your entire supply. Sorry then, buddy, but i got to try and tame this guy real quick. Holy crap. Okay, this guy's level 15, ladies and gentlemen. 15. Right, I guess what I'm going to do... Here's what I'm going to do. I'm basically just going to stay up here until this guy's tamed. I know for a fact that this guy takes meat. So, yeah, guys. We may, just may, have ourselves an Allosaurus. There is a, there is a Sarco Argentavis. I almost said Argentavis. <laughs> There's a Sarco Argentavis battle going on in the distance. Oh, who's going to win? Place your bets, guys. Place your bets. I wouldn't like to say. I wouldn't like to say. I mean, the Sarco, I wouldn't like to say if he's got, like, the, the diligence of the other one. I don't know. Oh, the Sarco was taken out of the game. Good job, birdie. <laughs> a bird just took out a crocodile, essentially. What the hell? That's amazing. Right, uh, should we just quickly go check on the progress of this guy? Please don't kill me, Argent Davis. I really could do without this. Uh, it's a female Allosaurus as well. Ooh, this is gonna be fantastic, guys. It really, really is. All right, all we can do is wait, and let's get this Allosaurus done. <laughs> oh my goodness me, this is gonna be like the largest dino I've tamed to date. This is gonna be sick, dude. Hell yeah. Of course, guys, it would actually help if I had the uh, Allosaurus saddle on me. I rather stupidly left it in... So oh, hello. Oh, it's a fire me. It doesn't matter. He's not even uh, hostile. But uh, yeah, it might help if I brought the Allosaurus saddle with me. I left it in the freaking smithy, didn't I? Like an idiot. I'm rather hoping that the Allosaurus hasn't despawned. I have just looked up on the Steam forums. Apparently, they only despawn after a certain amount of, like time or something like that. I'm not entirely sure of the despawn mechanics in this game just yet, but uh, I'm just kind of hoping and praying that uh, she hasn't despawned because if she has, then uh, yeah, this has just been a colossal waste of my time and resources and I'm going to be a little bit annoyed if I'm completely honest with you guys, but uh, yeah. I'm hoping that she's still there. So, let's get back there. Let's hope she's still there and if so, she, she'd probably be tamed by now actually. I don't know. Right, let's have a look. Alrighty, guys. Hashtag pray for Python. Is she still there? There's the kangaroo. Uh, there she is. That is her, isn't it? I'm convinced of it. Yeah, she's tamed. Level 22 as well. Fantastic. All right, let's have you follow me. And let's get a saddle on this gal. Oh, my goodness me. Dude, this is, like, amazing. I can't believe it. Yeah. Look at me, bro. <laughs> I got an Allosaurus, guys. Jeez. This gal is really high up. Like, I'm really high up on the Allosaurus right now. Dude, this is sick. Oh, uh, what kind of stats have you got? 630 health, 300 stamina, 210 oxygen, 4,800 food, 395 damage near it, 400 weight, 244 melee damage, 90% movement speed. Uh, it's something that can be improved as well, which is always nice to see. But, uh, guys, this is sweet. Right, I need to... Oh, okay. 
How about you have a little poop there? Why not? All right, uh, Argentavis, there's a bunch of them over there, and I don't particularly want to get on the wrong side. So, the question is, does this guy, gal thing, have any, like, special properties? I don't know. Is she just going to be a complete tank? Can I just, like, kill everything with this thing? I have no idea. I'm rather hoping so. Sadly, it is a bit of a low level, but it's not something... I mean, it's not impossible to rank her up a whole bunch. All we need to do is just kill a peep, bunch of peeps, right? So, yeah. Anyways, guys, we're going to try and head our way back to our mountain base. Let's get it. Huh, interesting. So I've just been doing a little bit of reading on the wiki about the Allosaurus. Apparently, a lot of predators, if you are riding the Allosaurus, will actually ignore you. Which is a pretty interesting thing. So basically, while I'm just roaming around ordinarily really hostile terrain, I might actually be okay. Because no one's going to come after me. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I feel like that's really, really cool. So... Yeah, not bad at all. Not bad at all. I am looking forward to getting this gal back to base. And, uh, hello. Good day to you, mom. Thing, sir, idiot. Oh, I don't know, man. Hello. Oh. <laughs> the other thing I like, I mean, despite the 90% movement speed, it still, it still seems pretty quick. Boom. Get wrecked. Yeah, Dilophosaur, you just got absolutely schmung dingled. Wait. There. Yeah. Wait, what? There's another one. What? Oh, he's there. I can't move around in circles quick enough. Got Yeah, Dilophosaur, you got wrecked, son. Yeah. Wait, hang on, who's that? Please say there's not like a Rex nearby. Otherwise, I'm going to poo my pants. Oh, there's a Raptor over there. Target identified. Here we go, my friends. Right, where are you at, you little, you little freaking son of a gun? Wait, where'd he go? What the crap? Oh, he's over there. Is, is that him over there? Uh, Parasaur, please get out of my way, dumbass. Hello. Yeah, I could have sworn I saw- Oh, hello. Oi! You stop that right now. You get out of here, you little sons of guns. Go on, give me that chitin. Yeah! Thank you very much. <laughs> wow, I'm just destroying everything right about now. This is fantastic. Look at the amount of freaking weight this guy has. Gal has, thing has. Melee damage. Oh, wow, that brings it up about 10%, so 253%. That's amazing. Oh, and, and another one. Boom, how about again? Another 10%. Oh, baby, this is amazing. <laughs> right, in the meantime, I think ranking up some stamina and movement speed. Stamina and movement speed, so we can at least get away from situations a bit easier. Maybe that'll be a good idea. What do you guys think? I feel like it'll be a good idea, so yeah. All right. So, like I say, we're going to try and track our way back to the mountain base, and then we can take inventory of our epic dino collection, which is currently growing nicely. Yeah! Two raptors and a moss drops in a couple of hits. <laughs> Yo, man, this Allosaurus is beautiful, dude. All right, let's get a little bit more stamina. Wow, it increases by 30. That's actually very good. All right, let's have 360 stamina. Being able to run around, it's very, very nice if you ask me, my friends. Hell yeah. Wow. And there's a Sarko in the river. <laughs> oh, I don't even know what's going on anymore. Oh, there's a bunch of Dilophosaurus taken out of Iomia. Okay, well, that's fair enough. I'll just leave them to it. I don't think I need to get involved, although I will get involved in doing this. Get out of here. <laughs> oh, that's very satisfying. Got. Yeah. Get wrecked. Sub, uh, you need to like die, please. There you go. Ah, ha ha. Yeah, mate, I love this Allosaurus. I really, really do. <laughs> All right, guys, we're at the mouth of the mountain base now, my friends. I can't remember for the life of me where that wild, the Alpha Raptor was. And I've got to be honest, I'm a little bit scared because it could come up on me any time, and I'm not entirely sure whether or not a single Allosaurus would be able to take it down. At some point in the series, we will have to try and take on an Alpha Raptor just so we can get our revenge for the many times that it has killed myself and my uh, fellow dino pets. You know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, for now, my friends, check it out! We got a big ass dino for our collection. The Tyranodon has also made it back safe and sound. Good day to you there, buddy. How about we have a bit of a landing here, huh? Oh, mate, this is sick, dude! Look at this guy compared to everybody else. Even the even the Triceratops are like no match for this thing. Holy moly. Yeah, look at the amount of stuff that this guy has as well. Uh, a bunch of chitin, a bunch of hide. Lots and lots of stuff going on, my friends. As well as 
all of this freaking stuff here. Look at this. And we also managed to kill something high level because we've got some random loot in there as well. As well as this. Uh, Rockwell recipes. I believe we need ourselves a cooking pot in order to actually uh, action some of these recipes. Uh, did I have a cooking pot unlocked? I never unlocked it. Okay. And you may notice I only have one engram point left, and that's because I unlocked a whole bunch of earlier stuff. Uh, for example, fur armor is one thing that I did not have unlocked. Uh, we're going to need to go back to the snow biome to try and get ourselves a bunch of pelt, hair, or wool so we can make the stuff so we can survive longer in the Arctic winds of the north. So, yeah, it would be great if we can make some fur armor at some point, then we can actually make a start and get in some stuff going in the snow biome, even, maybe even make a base. I have no idea how that would work, but... Uh, yeah, it's potentially something to do in the future. But uh, there we go, my friends. An allo... Oh, whoops. Ha! Ah, buddy, you need to land. You need to land and you need to stay still. There you go. Right, I need—I forgot to whistle it to stop. There we go. Fantastic. Yeah! The allo source is level 28 now as well, guys. I feel like this has been a really, really good day so far. The best thing is, guys, check this out. Next rank... I'm looking up the Therizino saw saddle. Level 69 is apparently when we unlock it. I'm going to guess that this is what this is. And check this out, guys. We're level 68 currently, and we are not that far away from ranking up. So I'm not entirely sure what we could do in the meantime so we could get ourselves up to that rank. But uh, it would be kind of cool to see if we could do some things. I mean, I, I was wanting to try and make myself an assault rifle, right? The only thing is the polymer is the difficult thing to get. He goes the same. We should go for the penguins. Hmm. Should we take our Tyrannodon up to the north and see what we can do? Hmm. Would that be a good idea? Maybe we could see if these uh, melee weapons here are good enough. I have no idea. I really, really don't. So, I don't know. I mean, I don't have any gunpowder left, sadly. Well, actually, no, I say that. There's a, there's a few bits and bobs here and there. Maybe I could scrounge together at least a couple of shotgun pellets here and there. I'm not entirely sure. But we're going to head back up to the north. We're going to see if we can, uh, you know, kill some penguins and get some stuff going that way, hey? Sounds like a good idea to me. But pff, who knows how it will go? Who knows how it will go? All right, folks, as long as I don't spend too long in this biome, we shouldn't be too worse off. Now, I actually did a little bit more research, actually, and it turns out that fur armor... Yes, is the best, but the second best is actually hide armor, what I've got on right now. So this stuff here will actually give you more hypothermic protection than iron armor, the, the flak armor that is, and, uh, and chitin armor. I've made both sets of armor, they're back at base, but I decided to go with the hide because, like I say, it's like the second best for hypothermic insulation. So, yeah. Alright, guys. So, like I said, we just need to make sure we're not in this bind for too long. Why is our health going down so fast? I can't say I'm entirely sure why that is happening. Is there any penguins? Oh, yes, there is. There's penguins. Kill them all. Kill them all. Get out the gear. Come on. Get wrecked. Uh, get wrecked. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, organic polymer. There we go. 13 of it. I don't actually know how much we're going to need, if I'm being completely honest with you guys. But it's something that I guess we'll find out. You even get prime meat from those guys. That's pretty interesting to know. Huh. Right, come on. Right, get back, little penguin dude. I'm sorry, man. There you go. Anyone who likes penguins, I apologize profusely. But, you know, there's only so much I can do. Uh, boom. Right, how's it looking? Eh, hey, look at that, man. We've got ourselves quite a lot. I'm thinking maybe like a hundred will do the job. Uh, for whatever I may wind up needing it for. My health. I wish I had something that could just regenerate my health straight away. Although, then again, I could maybe just eat a little bit. I mean, it will regenerate just a tiny bit. But, you know, there's probably better ways of doing it. Right, uh... No sign of any other penguins. Maybe we start heading up, uh, like here, maybe? I don't really know. I haven't really explored. What the hell? That doesn't look very friendly. This just doesn't seem like a good idea. <laughs> right. Uh, mm, half health, half health. Do you know what? I would love it if I could rank up right now and increase my fortitude because that would definitely help towards... Uh, you know, not dying against the cold, you know? It's so dark as well. Holy crap. And I've increased the freaking... Uh, I've increased the gamma as well, and I still can't see. 
Wow, this is proper bad, isn't it? Right, okay. Let's get out of this biome. We're going to warm ourselves up, regenerate our health back to the max, and then we'll get back in, get some more organic polymer, head back to base, and then hopefully make ourselves the assault rifle. That is the plan, my friends. It is the plan. Okay, there appears to be an Argentavis after me, so why don't you go and get wrecked, sir? There you go. I ain't about that life, bro. Whoa, that's a lot of meat. And prime meat as well. Not bad. <laughs> One shotgun shot took that Argentavis out of the game. Not bad. And it's given me the level up that I need. So let's increase our fortitude once again. We are now at level 69, my friends. And you know what that means? Aside from giggity, we've got the Therizinosaurus saddle. 40 end grand points. Let's do it, my friends. There we go. We know exactly what we're going to be doing in the next episode, don't we, folks? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's going to be an amazing time. It really, really is. But in the meantime, let's regenerate our health. I still want to get some more organic polymer, and then we'll head back to base to end off the episode. Hey, guys. Check this out. I just found a yellow beam, and it's Apprentice Chitin Helmet. Provides a lot more armor than a normal thing would do. Uh, we don't need the blueprint because I've actually already unlocked all of the electrical cable things, but uh, I'll definitely take the apprentice level thing. That's pretty damn awesome, actually. I think that's the first ever apprentice level piece of loot that I've managed to get in Ark so far, so... Not bad. Not bad. Alrighty, so here we are back at base, my friends. As you can see, we have a grand total of 56 organic polymer. I already have a little bit of organic polymer inside of the machine, but I don't know how much it was. So let's go and do this thing. There we go, we have two polymer. Damn it, I think we need two more. All right, so what do we need? Cementing pa- Oh, wait, hang on. Panic is not even needed because I could just make some more. Where is it? Yeah, there we go, look at this. We've got loads of freaking cementing paste. What am I fretting about? Right, let's go and put that in there. Get a bunch more of this stuff. Two more, then I should be able to make myself the- Yep, there we go. Okay, so all we need is some metal ingots and then away we go, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so- Oh, we only have 22? Are you serious? Oh, please don't tell me iron is going to be the thing I don't have. Oh, mate. It's like that, huh? Right. Do we already have some in here? Uh, uh no. Well, poo. Right. Well, I'm going to need to get some... Um, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let's try this again, shall we? There is... The big boy itself, the assault rifle. Let's go, man. How much XP is this going to give us? I have absolutely no idea, but the arrow is very much at the bottom there. I have no idea how much XP this is actually going to give us, but uh, I'm looking forward to actually being able to use this. Whoa. That almost gave me an entire level, ladies and gentlemen. What the hell? Okay, so uh, the fastest way to fill a target with holes requires quite a lot of gunpowder, which therefore requires quite a lot of charcoal. Apparently the best way to get charcoal is by leaving an industrial furnace or an industrial forge going, but sadly I don't think I've got that yet. Industrial forge. Unlocked a level 80. Wow, okay, so we're a little bit away from that. But uh, there we go, my friends. We have, we have the thing. We have it at long last. Sadly, I won't be able to use it in today's episode because I don't have the ability to. Because I don't have the ability to make stuff down here. So, that's kind of unfortunate. Unless I have some uh, gunpowder in here. Uh, wow, I can make one shot. Oh my goodness me, guys. This is amazing. I can make what? Oh, it makes two at a time. Oh, okay, right. <laughs> this is going to be so pointless. What is even the point? Oh my goodness me. Oh my god, I feel amazing right now. I feel like I'm playing Call of Duty. <laughs> oh dear. But guys, we'll give it a go in the next episode, I guess, once we have some more resources. But that's going to wrap it up for today's episode. It's probably been a bit longer than normal, but I really did want to get some things done today, my friends. So if you enjoyed the episode, nonetheless, a like rating, as always, would be super appreciated. Hit that subscribe button if you don't want to miss out on future content. Any hints, tips, and suggestions for future episodes, as always, would be super appreciated in the comments area below. And that'll wrap it up, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Thank you